I'm wearing my Volcano Day shirt today, so I figured it'd be a great day to do an overview of volcano boarding in Nicaragua. We stayed at the Surfing Turtle Lodge. It was outside of Leon, Nicaragua, and they helped us organize the activity for us. Um, it included arranging taxi pickup and drop off. The tour was 40 US dollars and was operated through Volcano de Nicaragua. We opted for the morning tour, hoping it wouldn't be quite as hot. The meeting point was a restaurant that the company operated out of. We signed in and then they let us pick out a t-shirt, which I'm wearing today, and that was included in the price of the tour. Also included in the tour price was the bus ride to and from the base of the volcano, a jumpsuit, goggles, gloves, and your board. They do not include a face skater to cover your mouth and nose, but they do sell bandanas or you can use the uh, t-shirt they give you and wrap it around your nose and mouth. Once everyone signed in, they did a bit of a debrief before we got in an open air bus and it was about a 45 minute or so bumpy bus ride to the base of the volcano. When we got there, we saw someone boarding down the volcano and you could see them going as well as a cloud of volcanic ash following them, which is pretty insane. It definitely became kind of real at that point what we were doing. But of course, to slide down the volcano, you have to hike up it. Makes sense. There were locals there that you could pay $5 to and they would carry up your board for you. I didn't realize how heavy the board was going to be, so I definitely opted to pay someone and had no regrets about that. I applaud their skills because I was struggling. The hike took about an hour with the first half of the volcano being the steepest. They recommend bringing at least two liters of water with you for the activity. The restaurant that they operate out of has a bar where you can purchase two liter bottles of water if you need one. Um, we did that beforehand. I also recommend a generous amount of sunscreen because I randomly got burnt on the left side of my back and nowhere else. When we were hiking up the volcano, we stopped at the halfway point of the hike and took pictures and our guide gave us some information about the volcano. Cerro Negro is an active volcano and it last erupted in 1999. It previously erupted every six years or so, so it's due for an eruption at some point. Once we made it to the top of the volcano, we took a short walk over to the crater um, and to see the crater of the volcano before gearing up to slide down it. We put on our jumpsuits, we looked like yellow minions, our gloves and our goggles, and then they gave us instructions on how to slide down on the boards. Uh, you're not supposed to put your feet on the board, but on the side of it. My slide down the mountain took about a minute and a half and thanks to my Insta360 camera, I have great footage of it. I will say my face cover came down pretty early on in my ride, so I had volcanic ash everywhere, including in my mouth. I don't recommend eating it, it's not tasty. Your board will automatically stop when you approach the bottom, so you don't have to worry about stopping. Once it was over, um, we took off all of our gear, I rinsed out my mouth and everything, and gave our gear back to our guides, and then they cut up huge slices of watermelon um, for the ride back. They also bartended out of a cooler with rum and coke, um, which is insane if you're on a bumpy ride trying to bartend. Back at the meeting point, they served us lunch and another included drink. And then if you wrote a review online, you could pick out another free t-shirt. Overall, a very unique experience and I'm glad I had the opportunity to do it.